So, as you can see, we have got a Star Wars Rebels tier list here, and I've actually recently re-watched Rebels, um, watching it for the second time ever, so my first re-watch, and my opinions on a lot of characters have changed drastically, so I think it's about time I revisit this tier list I've got right in front of me. So, yeah, um, I guess we just get on with it. As you can see, I've got hair worse than Kanan in the last season, but that's going to change soon. But anyway, enough of that, let's get on to uh, the tier list. Well, it appears that we've got um, basically all of the Ghost crew at the top of the list. So let's start off with Ezra, S tier. Um, he probably would have just been A tier and nothing more last time. However, I did enjoy him much more this time around and he goes in S tier. Now, I'm not going to rank them within their tiers yet. I'm just going to put them in their right tiers. Kanan is an obvious S tier. One of my favourites in the series up there with two others that you will see later that are in my top four favourite characters in the franchise um, of Star Wars. Yeah, absolutely loved him. How can you not? Now, Hera, Sabine, Zeb and Chopper are all fantastic as well. On the whole, Ghost Crew goes in S tier. Now, Captain Rex is someone that first time round of watching the series, I felt like we didn't really see enough of, but... I don't know why I thought that anymore, because this time around of watching Rebels, we got a lot of Rex, so he's going to go in A tier, and I, I really, really liked Rex in Rebels. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe this is Wedge, and he's decent, he's not quite Rex level in Rebels, but there's nothing wrong with the character at all, so he's going to go in B tier. Saw Gerrera, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, but, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Palpatine because of everything bad that he's done, but he's a fantastic character and he'd be ranked high on, like, a all of Star Wars characters tier list. So Saw Gerrera is going to go in B. Like, he's good in Rebels, but, you know, I'm not a fan of what he does, like, to Click Clack and the Geonosian and stuff like that. Click Clack is the Geonosian, by the way. Now, Commander Soto... Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of he's going to go in A tier. I do really like him. I like all of the like highly ranked people in the Rebellion in this series. So, yeah. Now, this kid, forget his name. He is part of the arc, which is very good when Ezra goes undercover as a cadet. But if I'm honest, I just don't care about him. I, I really don't. This guy is going to be my first don't like not a fan he did build an incredible ship um that he obviously provided to hera and the rebellion but i wasn't a fan of those episodes compared to the rest and i wasn't a fan of his character in particular he's quite annoying now this droid i do forget but it's going to be a b tier nothing wrong with him but he's not exactly like a kane and jarris of this series so pretty standard in b tier nothing to say about him Ahsoka is going to be another S tier. How can't she be? She was fantastic. Her relationship with Kanan and Ezra is so, so interesting. Her fight with Vader is incredible. So, of course, she's going to be an S tier. I can't wait for her series, obviously being the Ahsoka series, where she goes and looks for Ezra. Now, Palpatine, I did mention him earlier that I like him as a character, but not in Star Wars Rebels. So, he's going to... He's going to be a don't care, uh, don't like, to be honest. Wasn't a fan. Vader, however, completely opposite. I loved him in this series. Obviously, I spoke about his fight with uh, Ahsoka earlier, which I loved. And, yeah, everything about him is incredible. The way he is portrayed to be so, so clear of any Inquisitor, I love. He deals with Kanan and Ezra with ease. And it makes sense that there's not too much of him in Rebels because, you know... The main characters being Kanan and Ezra are significantly less powerful than him, so we wouldn't just want to see them lose every fight, would we? Tarkin is going to be the first C-tier character. You know, I didn't dislike him at all, um, but, you know, I w as you know, B-tier, I didn't dislike him at all. There were many parts that I liked, but it's just, yeah, it's Tarkin. Tarkin's fantastic, but it didn't really do too much in Rebels. I much prefer him in Rogue One. I think that's where I like him the most. So, yeah, B tier. Now, Callus is another one the first time around that would be lower ranked because um, I just remember not liking him after he turned to the Rebellion. However, this time around, I really liked him and he's going to be the third character in A tier. 
and the Grand Inquisitor. I do really, really like the Inquisitors in Rebels. I think is a fantastic villain for season one. And so yeah, he's gonna go in S tier, I believe. If he like maybe survived a little bit longer, he would be one of my favourite characters. Um, but he was killed off in the first season. He did his job for the first season, and yeah, S tier, fantastic. The fifth brother. Again, I said I like Inquisitors, and I'm just going to get straight to it. A tier. Um, you know, f as far as Inquisitor characters go, he doesn't really stand out from the crowd, but I really like the Inquisitors. He does his job of filling in from where the Grand Inquisitor, like, after he dies, alongside the Seventh Sister, of course, and has a couple of great fights with Kanan and Ezra. And, yeah, A tier character. Now, the Seventh Sister, obviously, is partnered with the Fifth Brother for a lot of Rebels. Um... I I really really like her for some reason. She's gonna go in S tier. Like I've said this many times for some reason. I just really like the seventh sister, so she's definitely going to go in S tier. Um, I can't really explain why. I just enjoy watching episodes with the seventh sister in. Now I believe this is the eighth brother. Um, this is probably the worst Inquisitor in Star Wars. There's not really anything to the character. He's only in like two episodes, so in fairness, you can't really go too high because there's not anything to him. So he's going to be the first C tier character. There's not really anything to like about him. However, I don't not care about him because he's still an Inquisitor and he's part of two of my favourite episodes in Rebels, but yeah, C tier. Can't remember this guy's name. He is an absolute mug. However, that doesn't mean that I dislike the character. He's going to be another C tier. I do care about him like a little bit, um, and I do pay attention to the episodes that he's in, um, but no, not much to him. Now, Thrawn is one of the characters that I said earlier that is in my top four in the whole of Star Wars. So he's definitely going to be an S tier. He's just so, so clever, and his respect for Harrison Dula is is great I really like seeing that the way he respects his opponents and like tries to study his opponents as well it's really interesting and I can't wait to see him in the Filoni verse specifically the Ahsoka series again I can't remember this guy's name can you probably not why would you um he's he's gonna go above the other guy in C he's gonna go in B with Tarkin um we see him more than Tarkin but he's not as main He's not as main of a character as Tarkin, not too much to him, I don't dislike him, don't love him, he goes in B. Now, can't really remember who this guy is, I think he is in the episodes with Leia, so he's going to go in B. Price, you know, I'm not a huge fan of her, but she's quite important to the series. Um... However, she killed Kanan, or oh, ordered the kill on Kanan, so she goes and don't like. Don't care about this guy. Rook, or however you say his name. Um, decent, not spectacular. Um, I'm going to put him in A tier, you know? I'm going to put him in A tier. He is, he is pretty good. I do like his fights. This guy, really don't care. This guy, really don't care. This guy, really don't care. And this guy, I despise. Um really forget her name um c tier yalaran isn't in it too much however what we do see of him i think is really nice he has a like decent friendship with callus um so i'm gonna put him in b this guy i very much enjoyed it's uh the episodes with the the broken jedi temple with the mortis gods on like the the front of it and ezra opens it to get to the world between worlds yeah i'm a fan of that character um Oh wow, I really, really should know the characters' names a bit more than I do, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna go through a bunch of them at speed and then I'll talk about some of the more main ones for the rest of this video. So um A tier, B tier, uh B tier, C tier, B tier, don't care, A tier, don't care, A tier, B tier. Uh, B tier, A tier, S tier, don't care, B, don't like, don't care, don't care, don't care, there's a lot that I don't care about, um, don't like, don't like, um, Gregor is going to go in A, Wolf is going to go in C. 
Uh, this tactical droid, I love tactical droids for some reason. I say that a lot as well. He's going to go in A. Bendu. Oh, Bendu is going to go in A. You know, I really like Bendu. He is very, very interesting. Um, I do hope we see more of him. He did kind of like fade away um, into the force, I assume, um, rather than like, I don't know, teleport or something, but maybe like in something prior to Rebels Kenobi, uh, we see something more of Bendu. I don't know. I don't think we will, but I really hope we do. As he is like awakened by Kane, meaning he's probably been sleeping there for a while, but... I hope we see more of him at some point, maybe in the Ahsoka series, I don't know. Obviously that's after he dies, but we don't actually know what happens to him. Now Obi-Wan isn't in it much, however what we see of Obi-Wan, I'm going to put him in S tier. Uh, Maul is the last of the characters I said was one of my favourite in the franchise and he is absolutely going in S tier. I loved him in Rebels, He's so so good. Probably his prime in terms of, well, character and power, I would say. His fight with the Inquisitors is fantastic. And the last two, we have got uh, Doom, the wolf called Doom, um, B, and then Yoda can go in A. So let's rearrange these now, and I'll get back to you once I've ranked them within their tiers. Furthest left being the best, furthest right being the worst. So here it is, the finished tier list. I'll leave it on screen for a little bit so you can have a look at it. There is the S tier, and I'll slowly scroll down because it can't actually all fit in it. But, yep, you've got enough time on the S tier. Now you can actually see it all. So that is my uh, Star Wars Rebels characters tier list. Um, let me know if you agree on any of these rankings. Let me know if you heavily disagree on any. And, you know, feel free to take the, like, do your own tier list, and you know what, make your own YouTube video about it, go on, you know you want to, or maybe a TikTok or something, and at me in it, you know my account is at master underscore 2187, and if you make a YouTube video on it, comment below, and I'll make sure I watch it, but yeah, um, I guess there's no more to be said, thank you so, so much for 7,000 subscribers, please do subscribe if you haven't already, and if you haven't got the notification bell on, I would recommend you do so, because sometimes, um, if you don't have the notification bell on, you don't actually see uh, some of my videos in your sub box, so make sure you do that. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and in a bit.